Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to walk you through a new feature that we've added to segmentation to allow you to do rolling date ranges inside of your segments. So you might be asking, why would I, why would I put a rolling date range inside of a segment? And the answer to that is uh, that sometimes you want your segment to roll along with time as time progresses. Uh, so, for example, uh, a, a use case would be a 60-day rolling average. If I have a uh, I have a work analysis workspace project that is uh, that shows um, really any time period, and I want to include a 60-day rolling average for revenue or unique visitors or whatever metric uh, I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, you can do that by including a rolling date range inside of a segment, and this will hopefully become clearer as I show you uh, how this how this works. So uh, the first thing that we'll do is go into Segment Builder. Okay. Now, uh, you may have noticed this. Uh, there's a new, uh, new option up here to create a new date range from inside the Segment Builder. And we've also added your existing date ranges to the Segment Builder so that you can use these. Um, I'm not going to go through the process of creating a new date range. We have another YouTube video that covers that. But um, I will show you what it would look like if I wanted to create a, uh, the concept of a 60-day uh, uh, rolling average. So I can uh, take my last 60 days and one thing to keep in mind is that when you're working with these date ranges uh, everything is relative to today, to the current day. So if I say last 60 days that's going to be uh, the last 60 days relative to today. What I can do is create a different date range that uh, is, so let's say I want to do um, a uh, 60 day rolling average, but for the period between 30 and 90 days ago, I can do that with a separate with a separate date range um, and then and then drag that onto the canvas. Now, this ability to drag a date range onto the canvas is new. Uh, that's that's not something that we've had before. In the past with segmentation, what you could do is take a, a day dimension and add it to the canvas. And I'll show you kind of the difference. You'll notice that this is hard coded. Um, with any of the date ranges that existed in segmentation before, you had to pick a specific date and stick with it. Um, and you could do day or week or month, but you, it wouldn't roll. It would always be January 19th, 2017, or January 10th, 2017. So rolling date ranges, again, allow you to, to get um, outside of that and have this segment roll as, as the dates change. So I'm going to call this last 60 days. Oops. Okay. And is there anything else that I need to add to this segment? Um, I don't think that I do. Um, and uh, so uh, we will, you can actually you can see the preview here as well. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this. And so when I save this, I've got this last 60 days segment. And um, there are a few things that I can do here. Uh, let me actually create, I'll add a new table to show you what, uh, how this works. Okay, so if I take last 60 days as a segment, and let's say I'm going to do, I want to do uh, average visits, uh, rolling 60-day rolling average. Whoops, did that wrong. Let's clear that out and put that, oops, put that right here. Um, and actually, no, that, that is what I wanted. I'm going to move it back to the rows. Okay, so that is my uh, total for the last 60 days. And that will roll. And, and one thing to keep in mind is that you'll notice that the date range for my panel is only this month, but I've got a 60-day uh, rolling segment. That is going to extend out beyond the start of my date range. And in fact, if I had built a, a, a rolling segment that was, say, um, 13 months ago and have that be the rolling date range, it will pull the, the data for 13 months ago, even if the date range for my, for my panel is the current month. So uh, important to note that with these rolling segments, rolling date ranges and segments, you, they do extend out beyond the reporting date range that you're, that you're currently looking at. Now this is the total number of visits over the last 60 days rolling. So to get what I'm, what I'm looking for, I'm just going to create a new calculated metric real quick. And I'm going to define it as visits last 60 days, actually drag that in there. Uh, and then I'm going to divide that by uh, by 60, 
by adding a static number. And divide that. There we go. And I can call this last 60 days average visits as a calculated metric. And I'll save that. And now I can uh, include that anywhere I want to. So what I'll actually do um, is put that in a, I'll clear out this table, I'll put that in here. And there you have my, uh, my average, uh, my 60 day rolling average. And um, I could actually, uh, I could, I could uh, graph this for example by putting a summary number up here and now I've got a really easy way for me to keep track of my rolling 60-day average number of visits. Um, so this is, uh, this is just one of many interesting use cases that you can solve with, uh, with this rolling uh, date range in segments. Another, another good one is if you want to see a uh, total number of visitors who've made more than five visits uh, to your site over the last 30 days, you can do that as well. Very similar uh, how you'd set that up, but maybe maybe we'll do another YouTube video to walk you through how to how to approach that use case as well. Um, lots of creative uh, applications for this new functionality. I'm very excited to see what many of you come up with uh, with with this rolling date ranges in segments.